Okay, we're going to try to do a voiceover for the playthrough on our game here. This is Dread Gulch Valley. You're starting out, you've crash landed, you've been uh, separated from the ship, and you are trying to work your way back through Dread Gulch Valley to try to find different parts of your ship to be able to put everything back together. You have to watch out for bandits, and there are certain things along the way that are going to help you. Um, one of the things that we added was achievements. You can see the little thing walking into a cactus is going to do damage. And then you can pick up, say, water bottles or food or whatever to help heal that. Uh, heal that damage that you, where you've been shot or, you know, whatever. Uh, collector is when you pick up the rifle and the shotgun. There's a power core. Here's a ship part. Uh, when you pick up the ship part, it's going to tell you how many ship parts you have. And also identify an achievement for picking up the first one. It goes from the crash site to the canyon. The canyon is sort of the hub for everything. That map that he just picked up is actually going to come into play later. Don't know why he's glowing. it will stop in just a moment. Uh, might have to go back and look at the, uh, the code on that and see what that's going on. The top right-hand corner, you'll see a couple of things. Health and shield, which are pretty self-explanatory. The ammo currently is using a shotgun. Uh, that actually switches to a rifle when he picks up the rifle. It switches automatically. And then how many bandits he's uh, been able to dispatch and how many pickups he's actually done. Uh, as you walk through a little bit, he does actually have uh, a method to his madness. The map is laid out in such a way where you can go to several different scenes from the canyon. The uh, next scene he's going to go to is actually going to be the graveyard scene. He's going to move around a little bit here, dispatch a couple of enemies and it'll give a pop-up window asking if you want to go to the graveyard. The graveyard is actually going to be uh, a little bit darker in color. Uh, it's hard to see in the editor, but once the, the uh, program gets baked, you'll be able to see it better. Pickups along the way, dispatching some enemies, both of those count up. We were able to add several water features throughout the, the game, even though it is in a desert climate. There, you figure there might be a pond or two or some water sitting around. He, wanders through here. We did add some more models. We textured some things. We added our own uh, our own designs of things. There's uh, several pop-ups to try to give you little helpful hints throughout the game. Some enemies were ground in place. Some of them were spawned, like you see this one that keeps on spawning. And in this case, you're trying to dig up something in the graveyard, so you have to go find a shovel. Each of those signs is going to give you a little helpful hint, like I said. Uh, some pickups there, and then the mini map is helpful because it gives you a little bit different angle, so you can see where something is hidden that you normally wouldn't be able to find from a head-on view or from the the camera angle view that you can see in the mini map. Uh, of course, while he's away, things did spawn, so he's got to kind of dispatch them. Picks up the ship mark, it gives you a, a, an achievement for doing that, and it gives you one for actually hitting 25 bandits. So uh, all all the better. We'll cut. We don't. Uh, I won't show a complete playthrough on every level, but uh, it'll cut back and forth, and uh, just kind of give you some highlights. Going back into the canyon, uh, he'll cut across the canyon at, at one point here, and uh, we'll uh, show a couple of things here. Again, there's going to be a water feature you'll see in this. Going through a couple other ones, more signs, uh, destroying more enemies. The bottom you'll see is a mini map key. When you're in a full screen, that mini map will actually be clear of that, so it'll look a little bit more natural. Um, it'll tell you the different things that you'll be able to find on the mini map. There again, the, the water feature that's in the canyon level. Originally, we were going to try to do a river. We could not quite get the river type feature to, to work out, so we worked with just a water texture, and we're able to, to in many cases, get that to be a pond type structure or a a small water feature type structure in some levels. Uh, working his way down, uh, he's already picked up some dynamite. Uh, he's going to come down to an area where he actually will have to blow up one of the boulders. I'm not going to tell you where the dynamite is. you got to find that on your own. Another achievement for blowing something up. And works his way into the mine level. Uh, Dave did a great job on modeling a bunch of the stuff like uh, some of the ore carts and the track. And then this is Joe's level where he... Uh, put some some areas that were blocked so you have to hit the switches and, and run an animation uh, Great job done on the animations And again, you'll see where it's blocked off Joe has it blocked so he'll go back up here He'll hit the little switch the little ore cart will run. There's no sound in this video clip except for my voiceover 
um, but that's uh, you'll be able to see that later or you'll be able to hear different uh, different sounds and audio throughout everything from dripping water to howling wind to a little bit of background music and he'll go through here and he'll pick up a couple more parts again um, on the right hand side of the screen you'll see where those are added and he continues to go through I cut back and forth a little bit I don't want to show you where everything is uh, I'll let you find that on your own again more achievements goes down here and you'll see a couple of different enemies red blue and green shirts the red and the blue are more difficult than the green uh, there are a lot harder a lot harder to dispatch but they still count the same as being dispatched picks up ship part you'll be able to see that increases to three and continues back toward where you uh, a little bit further in the canyon all right i'm sorry in the in the mines and goes through a little bit and eventually he'll work his way back into the canyon Again, with a pop-up as he goes through the canyon we're going to show you one of the things that you get you see some uh, a green and a blue shirt and he's able to pick up some uh, health pickups and change weapons etc health pickup will increase the health a little bit more uh, we did kind of we were struggling a little bit with how we wanted to move Bob in the end we just decided that whichever way the mouse cursor was pointing was the way that Bob was going to move regardless of uh, which way the animation for his steps was taking uh, we can and probably will go back in there and take a look at that at another time to uh, to go back and, and make sure that he walks in the actual direction that he's facing make it a little bit less confusing uh, dispatch a little bit more enemies and then he's going to use the map feature here You'll be able to see right there the blue dot on that map shows where Bob is. And he's going to be heading to a different area. Eventually also those will be labeled so you'll be able to see which area is which. Um, which feature he's, he's going toward to try to get to a different part of the game. Bob continues on. He is working his way into the town now. The town did have all spawning enemies, and now it has all fixed enemies. I'm not sure if it made it easier or harder, but they do come at you pretty quick. Uh, again, some more instructions to kind of let you know what's going on. And he's going to work, work his way through into here. And if anybody remembers and sees that, they'll know that the uh, little mini game. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a mini game involved. Uh, he lost, lost all of his ammo, so he, well, he gets a courtesy five on the way out the door, but he still has to leave. So he'll go back out and try to fight his way through again. I'm not going to go back into the casino where he lost. And going to continue around a little bit. As he continues on, he's dispatching more enemies, but his health will start to go down a little bit. You'll see he runs into a little bit of a firefight. There you go. The blue ones are especially the blue ones and the red ones are especially difficult to uh, to get rid of sometimes. So he goes up a little bit closer. He's going to go into the saloon up to the saloon area here. Well, no, I'm sorry, a little bit of a sidetrack. Picks up power core on this level, and then he's going to make his way to the saloon. A couple, of, not really guards, but a couple of bandits outside of that. He'd be able to actually go into the saloon. There you go. Once he gets into the saloon, he'll try to uh, work his way through a couple of enemies that are already in the saloon and hopefully try to get all the way through the saloon and get the ship part and then get back out of the saloon and continue on his journey. There he goes. He picks up a water bottle and sets it sit on the table, but he's still running into a little bit of an issue because there are plenty of enemies around. Uh, in the case that Bob wins, gets all the ship parts, it's a winning scenario and a pop-up. In this case, it's a losing scenario, and he's over. 